Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about where your intelligence comes from. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about how you got so intelligent. So, where does your intelligence come from? Your intelligence comes from a mix of two big classical topics in psychology, nature and nurture. Nature, in this case, means what you biologically have, what you're born with. Nurture, on the other hand, is how you develop, practice, and care for what you're born with. Your intelligence is based in large part on your heredity but it also depends on how you take care of or nurture your intelligence. This applies to a lot of things about you, not just intelligence. Uh, for instance, your speed is also a combination of nature and nurture. You're born with a natural ability from your parents on how fast you could be, but it depends in large part on how much you practice running to achieve that maximum speed for you. Psychologists call this range of reaction. You're born with a biologically predetermined range of what you can achieve, but what you do achieve depends on how much you nurture that skill, trait, or ability. When it comes to looking at the biological side of your intelligence, there's no single gene that codes for intelligence. Instead, there are lots of different genes that all contribute to your intelligence, and many genes whose function can affect your intelligence. Geneticists are never going to be able to identify just one gene that can make you smarter. But we do know that in big part, you should thank your mom if you're smart. Our brains, in order to operate at peak efficiency, need a lot of metabolic energy. And that's the type of energy we get from mitochondria, you know, the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> Conventional scientific wisdom holds that we inherit our mitochondrial DNA just from our mothers. So that would mean we get the ability to power our brains efficiently from our moms. But in the past couple of years, there have been some studies that suggest there might be a biparental inheritance of mitochondrial DNA. These studies are still really new and a little controversial, but dads, we're looking at you. When it comes to the nurture side of intelligence, we know that intelligence scores of children are very highly correlated with the intelligence scores of their primary caregiver. That means whoever is doing the day-to-day -day activities with a child greatly impacts how smart they are. Remember, this is just a correlation, not causation. It doesn't necessarily mean one causes the other. While we can measure intelligence in children and in caregivers, it just wouldn't be ethical to perform a true experiment to look at this. That would mean removing kids from their caregivers and just, no, no. <laughs> if you want to find out more about how smart you are, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Nature or nurture? Either way, it's your parents' fault.